Oh, very much the local hope here, trained by Karen van der Bos and ridden by the brilliant Jody Petrosvich. Well, I wonder, could it be a lady jockey winning here? There's no doubt, Athlete de Sol has a great chance. Couldn't do the business from a bad draw last time out, but won a Group 2 in Baden-Baden last year. Also a big winner in Stockholm. The yellow blinkers, you won't miss that. That's Baki Bazouk. Christophe de Hans from Belgium, the former champ, is on board. And the horses are now at the start. Obviously a slight delay to this race because the last race was delayed about 15 minutes. So that's the reason there's a little delay here. But if you're watching around the world on Abu Dhabi TV, this is Tomo and we're live in Ostend for the Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nayan Cup. There's 35,000 euros in prize money of which 17,500 euros will go to the winner. There is Labwar in the blue and white checks and the blue and white blinkers. Ridden by Per Kronbeck from Sweden. First time here in Ostend. They're loading for the Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan L9 Cup. So here we go. First one in. Labois in the blue and white diamonds. Now the others load up. The start for this race is at about the three furlong marker at the entrance to the home straight. It is the last race tonight, and it's, it's getting dark. And if we had floodlights, we'd switch them on. But we haven't. So, after the racing here, there's going to be a pop group entertaining the crowds. It really is a great family atmosphere. Loading up in the blue and white, Gazelle T. Gator Foucault rides this as well. There's a couple of uh, French jockeys riding here. We've got Freddy de Fed who rides Senna here, named after the great former world motor racing champion. He's ridden over 400 winners and rides for His Highness the Aga Khan in France. The red cap of Poulain Cossack, whose half-brother ran second in the ladies' race. There in the yellow and black, there's Senna in the outside. Plenty of horsepower here. So it won't be too long. The eight runners being led forward. He's athlete de Sol, J.D. Petrovic, closing on the century of winners. She's from the Netherlands. She's riding for Karen van der Bos, who trains on the beach and does incredibly well. So well that she won the Dali Award in Los Angeles earlier this year for her services to training. He is Speed Cossack, Belgian-born former champ, Toon van der Tross on board. The trip here, nine furlongs. The starter is ready. There are just a couple more to be loaded in. There in the black and yellow, Badji Bazook, for another former Belgian champion. Christophe de Hens on board. Just one out. Stand by. It won't be too long. Last one to be loaded up in the red cap, Poulain Cossack. Andrea Helfenburn for Germany. Okay, we're just about ready. They're off, here we go. A mile and a furlong to go this time. And let's see who's gonna take them along. In the red cap, Poulain Cossack, one of the first to go on. Athlete de Sol got a good start on the left as we look. In the blue and white diamonds, Labois is also right there. Tracking these in the blue cap, we've got Speed Cossack. Up on the outside in the yellow, here comes Senna. Towards the rear at this stage, being ridden along is Badji Bazook, who's a little bit outpaced. Also towards the rear is Gazelle T. Here they come, Bastos, they've got a circuit to run. And Poulain Cossack leads them past the stands. Labar is second. Third on the inside, getting a good run is Athlete de Sol. The blue cap of Speed Cossack, and up on the outside, that's Senna. In the stripes towards the rear, we've got Nain. Then in the blue and white, Gazelle T. And and the back marker is Badji Bazook. And if Badji Bazook's going to have to win, it's going to have to pass the other horses in the race. Into the back straight they go. They've got about five furlongs left to run. And up front in the red cap is Poulain Cossack. Up on the outside, Labois. Running third athlete to Sol. That's the one, two, three. Center in the yellow and black towards the far side has a good position. Being ridden along is Nain. Going nicely in the blue cap is Speed Cossack. That's the order as they go down the far side with 
with just over half a mile left to run in the Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nayan Cup. The leader in the red cap, Poulain Cossack. On the outside is Labois in the blue and white diamonds. Hugging the rails, Athlete de Sol is third. Center is fourth. Fifth on the inside is Nain. Behind this comes Speak Cossack. Behind that is Gazelle T in the back mark and Badji Bazook. They're coming back towards us. Two left to run. It's a very tight right-handed burn. And here they come into the home straight. Poulain Cossack has the lead. Up on the outside, Labois. Athlete de Sol moves well in third and now looks for room in the yellow color center begins to stay on running very wide in the blue cap is speed cossack trying to come through his name it's a wide open race as they come down the home straight in the red cap Poulain cossack also coming gazelle t with a good looking run on the left it's athlete de sol right there as well here they come down towards the last furlong and it's Poulain cossack here comes athlete de sol on the far side gazelle t back in third they're coming towards the line this is going to be close it's going to be in the red cap it's a photo! Wow, that's close. Has Athlete de Sol got there on the line? Or is it Poulain Cossack? It is very, very close. This is one for the judge. Has Athlete de Sol got there under the girl jockey, J.D. Petrovic? If she has, it's a 96 winner. Or has Poulain Cossack, under a great ride from Andrea Helfenberg from Germany, held on? It is a photo. It's a photo. We await the judge's decision here. This is close. Has Poulain Cossack held on or has Athlete de Sol won it? Here's a replay of the closing stages and it was the man jockey on the right, the lady jockey on the left. This is close. Nobody knows. Everybody's looking to me saying, what's won it? We're watching the replay here. Watch on the big screen. Has Athlete de Sol got there in the closing stroke? Wow. I think Athlete de Sol has won, but that's only my personal opinion. I'm waiting on the judge. I am waiting on the judge. Will it be number two, Athlete de Sol? Or will it be number four, Poulain Cossack? I am waiting on the judge. And as soon as he comes through, he will announce it. I think Athlete del Sol might have got there on the line for Karen van der Bos and Jody Petrovic from the Netherlands. And that means that the two big races tonight, if it's confirmed, both ridden by lady jockeys. It's ladies first, or is it? Here in Ostend, I am waiting the news from the judge, and he still hasn't called it. He's still looking at the photo. This must be close. Who has got there? Will it be number two? Will it be number four? I have a feeling, my own personal opinion, number two, but I'm still waiting for the judge to announce it. He will come over the loudspeaker and announce it as soon as possible. Well... Jody Petrovic is smiling. She thinks she might have got there, but I'm still waiting on the judge. Is it two? Is it four? The judge will come in straight away when he's ready, switch his microphone on, and say the winner is. Jody Petrovic thinks she's got it. She, it's, number it's number two. She's got it. She's won it. Athlete de Sol wins it. Jody Petrovic. Wow, look at this. She's not just a top-class lady jockey. She is a top-class girl as well. She's ridden, and I tell you what, she's come through the uh, Fatima bin Mubarak uh, Ladies' World Championship Series, and now she's one of the top jockeys in Europe, and she likes it. She likes it. Why not? And where is the winning trainer? Karen van der Bos, the champion trainer of Holland, an outstanding trainer. So it's girls all the way here tonight in Ostend. This is a great result. And what a finish. You won't see a more exciting finish than that. I think there's some happy people here in Ostend. The winner coming back. Ladies and gentlemen, please give this winner a great big round of applause. The winner, Athlete de Sol, Jody Petrovic for the Netherlands, and Karen van der Bos. Well done. She likes it. She likes it. She's now four away from 100 winners. Petrovic is first in Belgium. And there's the trainer. Oh, kisses, tears, you name it. It's all happening down there in the winner's enclosure. We're just waiting confirmation, but we think it is uh, two, the winner, four in second. Certainly two has won it. And that is the photo being taken. That will be front page of the newspapers tomorrow in Abu Dhabi and Dubai. These pictures going live 
on Abu Dhabi TV. There's Karen in the pink, the blonde girl with the green top. She's happy. She's an incredible trainer. She won the Darley Award in America earlier this year, which is awarded the World Champion Awards put on by Sheikh Mansour for purebred Arabian racing. His Excellency, the ambassador, is there. She's waving at him. I did it. Jody, you did it. Karen, you did it. Well done, you two. And what about the girl in the middle? She's from America, that girl, the girl who leads up. Top class. And there is Lara Suwaya. There's the Emirates girls. There's the ambassador. What a performance. Athlete de Sol. This is some athlete. And look at that horse's head. He loves it. Wow. That is fantastic. Who's a good boy then? Hey, fantastic. You've got a feel for the second horse, Poulain Cossack. But that's what racing's all about. Separated by a pixel, a few centimeters. Well, they're going away now to get washed down. The winner will receive the trophy. And I hope you've enjoyed being with us on this special night here in Ostend. It's been our pleasure to be here. And I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope you get the chance to come on Emirates who start their daily flights to Dubai or Etihad, of course, on September the 5th. And you'll be made very welcome in the United Arab Emirates. Here's the replay of how we saw one of the fastest finishes I've seen for a long time. And this Jody Petrovic, absolutely outstanding. You don't get better than this. Well, Masood, the presenter of Abu Dhabi TV, is down in the winner's enclosure. And it's also the birthday of the jockey. Superb. On Wednesday, Jody, you've got the best birthday present you've ever had. And while you're down there just weighing in before you come back for the winner's presentation, we're just watching how you did it again. And it is superb the way she rode this race. Not only is she very stylish and very strong, she's also got a brain. And look at that. She had the inside. She told me before the race that the stall 13 that she had last time, she couldn't do it because there was a too short a run to the first bend. But this horse hugged the rails in the one box, and she was always going the best. But having said that, Poulain Cossack ran such a tough race. And would you believe the two half-brothers, Fraser Cossack and Poulain Cossack, both finishing second. But they've tried their hearts out. They both run well. And they've lost nothing in defeat. But just have a look at what happens in the closing stages. There were so many with chances. And here they come again into the home straight. And just watch how Jody Petrovic, who's having a birthday on Wednesday, got the best birthday present she's ever had, winning the Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nain Cup in the closest of finishes. Some superb riding performances here, but let's hear it for these purebred Arabians. They race over five furlongs, they race over a mile and a furlong, and they race over 100 miles as well. They really are incredible. We're watching the replay now, just watching her come through, and she's given this a great ride. She uses a whip in both hands, and not many people can do that. She switches it through, then she puts it down, then she sits down to ride, to squeeze. At this stage, she's still got to pass the leader, but it was only in the dying strides that she got up close home. Well done, Jody Petrovic. Let's now go live to the winner's enclosure. الرحمن الرحيم
اذا مشاهدينا الكرام قبل لحظات عزف السلام الوطني الخاص بدوله الامارات العربيه المتحده والان سعاده السفير سليمان المزروعي يقوم بتتويج الفارسه الفائزه طبعا الفارسه الهولنديه والف الف مبروك للمالكه والمدربه ايضا كرن يتم الان تتم الان مراسم التتويج طبعا متواجد سعاده السفير وتؤخذ الصور التذكاريه اذا مشاهدينا الكرام طبعا كارن congratulations it was amazing race great race and a great victory uh, thank you so much it was wonderful and the audience was very nice here lots of people and uh, thanks to Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed on the Hayan for making this possible and of course Lara Sawaya who is in charge of it yeah. And uh, all your team, of course. All the all the amb the ambassador here from Belgium is here, and it's wonderful. Thank you very much. So congratulations, Karen. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I'll talk to the jockey also. I'm telling you, congratulations. Tell me exactly how the race went uh, through and what was the instructions of your trainer and how it went on so that you win this race. Well, last race it was a little bit too short distance and uh, outside starting gate, so we had a little bit bad luck. Uh, today I had starting gate number one and uh, and uh, 800 meters, so I had a little bit more. Distance. Uh, and he was top fit today. He felt so very fit and very well. And I get the orders to go in the front, mm -hmm. and uh, I mean not in the front of the field, but with the front horses. Mm -hmm. And he travelled me, and he fight really, really, really hard uh, <laughs> to beat Poulain. And uh, I'm very happy and really want to thank my trainer and Lara for everybody for organising and uh, to get a wonderful ride like Atleta so Congratulations. Thank you. Lara, of course, the moment we finish, I mean, we finish this beautiful and beautiful moment here from Brussels. The last words you want to say to the viewers, the viewers. اسمه شيخ منصور عشاق سباقات الفروسيه متابعي مهرجان شيخ منصور بن زايد لازم يعرفوا انه جي دي بيتروسفيك هي رابحه سابق بطوله العالم لسمو الشيخ فاطمه مبارك بالمانيا جي دي حتشارك كمان ببطوله العالم للسيدات لام العالم سمو الشيخ فاطمه مبارك لانه هي ربحت بجداره المانيا بتكون كانت اول مشاركه كانت لها كبروفيشنال سو اليوم شاركت بالمانيا كبروفيشنال واليوم ربحت جائزه الشيخ زايد ببلجيكا يلي هو يعاد البرستيج كاب لمهرجان سمو الشيخ منصور بن زايد ويل دان جي دي يوف دان ات اند اوف كورس يو ار جوينغ فور ذا فاينلز فور شيخ فاطمه ان ابو ظبي بيكوز يو وان جيرماني اند يو وان ات از ا بروفيشنال جوكي اوف كورس كارين نو بادي كان سي اني ثينغ شي از اولويز ذا وينر اند نمبر وان بيكوز شي ريبريزنتس ريلي ذا وومن ترينرز ان ذا وورلد ويل دان And thank you. See you in Abu Dhabi. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. Then, uh, مشاهدين لكن أنا وصل الختام. You said it's not going to rain. I, 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 did, I did. Did I really? Come on, dear. it is absolutely pouring. Can we squeeze up against you? By the way, that Jody Petrovic, incredible. Karen van der Bost, incredible. There's not many people can take Lara Swear on and finish up sides. Those three girls. Just point your camera over there. Those three girls are absolutely outstanding. These three here. They're they're wonderful. Thank you very much, Derek. Thank you very much. Thank Wonderful. you very much. Meet and Watson. Exactly. And it's not going to rain in Poland. Are you sure? <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. إذا مشاهدينا الكرام وصل معكم لختام هذا البث الحي والمباشر هنا من بروسل وذلك في تغطيتنا لبطولة العالم لسمو الشيخ فاطمة بن مبارك للسيدات في الجولة الثانية عشر وأيضا جولة العاشرة لكأس مغفور له بإذن الله تعالى كأس الشيخ زايد بن سلطان آل نهيان كل ذلك تحت مظلة مرجان سمو الشيخ منصور بن زايد آل نهيان العالمي للخيول العربية الأصيلة مشاهدينا الكرام إلى اللقاء ولقاء جديد إن شاء الله في وارسو عاصمة بولندا. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar تبدأ يومك بطاعة ربك وحياتك بخير وأمورك طيبة ونعمتك عند بابك فرحان في أحضان هلك وقلبك يظللهم تخطط للسعادة وأمالك بعيدة والوطن محتويك لكن في القلب هاجس وفي الأفق نداء صوت حكمة ياي من فوق يقول لك من غفلتاه ومن سمن غلبوه وعشان كذي لا ترتاح وايد ولا تأمن أبد واللي ما يعد عدته ويحصن بابه تاكل الضماع ما بسهل تودر الشباب وحواطة العصير ما بسهل تودع مخدة وتتوسد حجر وتأخر الشهادة ولا الوظيفة ولا الخطيبة 
ولكنك تقول للزمن وقف وللوطن تعال حبك يا وطن ما بس شعار ولا عبره في لحظه حماس والمواطنه الصالحه اقوال تهز الروح وافعال تشيدها اصنع لي رجوله في خدمتك فجرني بطوله في شدتك ولو كان العمر لحظه اقضيها في حضانك اخدمك يا وطن تلبس درع ايمانك وتحمل سلاح عزمك وتكسر حواجز الخوف فالبطولة ما بتحدي ولا هي رغبة لمغالبة ربعك ولكن البطولة لحظة وموقف يمنح الفرد في حبه وكل كيانه في سبيل الغير وانت في داخلك بطل يزأر بس ينتظر نداء عونك يا وطن عونك يا خليفة كلنا جنودك وتحت يمناك والعمر يفداك الدولة حلمها كبير وانت حامل رايتها ونفوس ضعيفة تقول لك خل غيرك يشلها بس من متى اخوان شما يودرون العز والفخر للغير؟ نحن نقود بسواعد ما تكل وقلوب ما تهاب الشدايد واراده قويه ترسم دروب للخوالف يتبعونها عقولنا تنور العفاق وتبني صروح الحضاره يا كل قلب يصرخ خلني اشل رايه بلادي واللي ما قد خدم ما يستوي قيادي لب الندى وبشر ام الخير امي انا للفدا ساير سمعت الندى ولبيت التحدي بواجه كل لقطة ضعف وكل شيء وقف ضدي وبكبر وبغامر واروض المستحيل لبلادي امجاد الوطن غاليه نعيش في ظله ونموت من اجله ويوم خدمتي له هو اليوم اللي استحق احمل فيه اسمه أنا إماراتي ألب النداء أنا الوطن والوطن أنا وأول من يؤدي الخدمة الوطنية الجزيرة يقابل بيان بين السويسري غدا الثامنة ونصف مساء على ابو ظبي الرياضية
في برنامج منافسات ابطال الكره ديو هو الاسم الاهم على الساحه العالميه لكن في الارجنتين ما زالوا يحبون ديجو يقولون ان نيمار هو بيلي الجديد لكن عليه اولا ان ينجح امام رونالدو ومن تختارون من بين لاعبي اسبانيا الرائعين